Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the farm, Heavenly Game Farm, Northwest Lower Michigan. I'm Keith, and this is my second uh, second attempt at uh, recording what's going on at the farm today. So I just got out here this afternoon. I'm waiting for my wife and uh, my mom, and we are going to see if we can do a little morel mushroom hunting. Uh, Kaylee and Paul are not here today, at least not yet. Uh, they're going to be around later, I think. Uh, they're off doing some things with other family. And so I thought, uh, I'm out here on the farm by myself right now, so what I thought I'd do is I'm going to do a little work on the John Deere uh, 4320 here. We picked this up uh, when we were getting started with the farm. And um, it's a 2005, and it's in great shape. It only had 550 hours on it uh, when I picked it up. Uh, but we're going to put it some to some work out here. I got a little junk pile back there that I got to get cleaned up. But um, the project that I've been working on over the last couple of days is I bought a Summit Hydraulics Universal Third Function Kit. And what I need that for, um, for those that may not know, is that most tractors come standard with uh, on the loader valve that controls the loader. It's got two, two hydraulic circuits, basically, that function to um, raise and lower the bucket and then curl the bucket. But then when uh, you're trying to put on a grapple, you need a third function, a third hydraulic circuit. Uh, so you've got uh, the two functions, raise and lower the arm, the boom, and you've got curl the bucket. But then on the grapple, we need a pinch. So you need a third function hydraulic system. And you can get a universal kit and install it yourself and save some money. And that's what I'm attempting to do here. So that's the project that I'm working on. Um, ran into some interesting stuff in the process, as always. It's learning curve. And um, the Summit kit's great, but uh, really what turned out to be the challenge is the hydraulic connections for the hoses. The kit does not come with the hoses uh, because uh, obviously there's just too many combinations, variables out there. Uh, and so they wait to see where you're going to choose to install your valve and then you figure out where your lines go from there so that's the thing that i'm doing working on today uh, for what it's worth i picked up this tractor from uh good works tractor he's an online dealer uh, i was great to work with and he's actually the one who also pointed me to the uh, summit hydraulic kit so i'm going to show you um, a little bit about the about the lines and the attachment here that we're working on so um, let's take a look so when I purchased the tractor, I also purchased this uh, grapple attachment uh, from Goodworks Tractors. And um, this is a work saver. And I forget the model. It's, uh, it's the larger one that's uh, designed to go on the 4 and 5 series uh, John Deere's. And um, looking forward to really putting that to use out there in the property. This, uh, it comes with... Uh, hoses built in they're through the tubes for a little protection and then this is where the fun starts so right in here uh, this hodgepodge of connectors is the work that I've been doing over the last week or so um, the big challenge is uh, at least for me and um, having never done this before is uh, getting uh, these hydraulic lines and the fittings that you need to make the unit work and it's extra challenging when uh, your farm store, your local farm store is low on supply for couplers, uh, basically because COVID, uh, there's a lot of missing parts. So we had to kind of hodgepodge some pieces together in order to get some of these connections uh, uh, to work, but I think we're getting there. So I run my hydraulic lines along with the existing ones that are on the tractor here. Um, and uh, just kind of route them through the existing sleeves uh, which is nice, works out fine. And then uh, down in here is where the new valve is. So the thing that you're looking on the back side here uh, is the Summit valve. Uh, you find uh, your preferred mounting place. In my case, it uh, worked out great to mount it near the existing hydraulic connections uh, for the loader. And so um, mine mounted up nicely here. So on the existing, you'll see that there are four lines coming off, heading up towards the uh, uh, the loader, and that uh, operates the lift and the curl. And then the 
third function kit is going to be operating that uh, that pinch that we talked about. So, um, so far not too bad. Got a little bit of left, a little bit of work to, left to do. I'm going to be putting on the um, new controller on the joystick, which adds that uh, that third functionality for the pinching function. And so we got to add the 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 new uh, controller on top, replacing the standard bulb here on the top of the uh, loader arm. And uh, so we got to replace the, the handle, and then we got to wear it into the uh, out uh, into the electrical, into the fuse box, and get it powder, powered up. And then there are a couple of um, connectors that go into the valve itself. So I'm going to be working on that. Let's see if we can make some progress. All right, here's another look at the hydraulic valve. Uh, third function that I've uh, worked on installing here. And you can see that it's just kind of mounted up against uh, or behind the existing hydraulic uh, bracket that was here standard with the tractor. So you got the four lines coming off. Uh, you got your green, yellow, red, black. And um, those are the standards. And then these two right here are the new coming off of the uh, Summit valve. Uh, those are fed to the front where they're gonna power the uh, pinch function on the grapple. And then you can see in the back back there, uh, the hydraulic lines coming into that uh, new valve. And then this is the control solenoid right here uh, with the two electricals that I'm gonna be working to hook up here pretty quickly. Um, but I'm gonna let you in on uh, uh, extra challenge that I've had. Um, and I think what it turns out is that the uh, proprietary issue with John Deere uh, with uh, the connector that goes into their um, uh, loader uh, control valve. So I got to get down underneath the tractor. We're going uh, down in here uh, underneath. And once I get back in there, I'll, uh, I'll show you what we're up against. I might as well show you an old guy climbing down underneath the tractor. Let's see what goes on. And so we got to get down in here where the... I gotta get the barn cat out of the way. Here she comes. Um, I gotta get down in here underneath the tractor. And we'll get down up in here. All right. Uh, now the camera seems to be going a little goofy, but that's okay. So, let me see if I can straighten up the camera here. Give me a second. All right, so we got the camera straightened up a little bit. I'm laying flat on my back underneath the tractor. And what you're, what you're looking at here is the control valve for the loader. Um, the uh, loader arm at the top of the tractor where we're going to be replacing that, uh, that plastic knob uh, is connected to this control valve. And the four black metal lines that you see here are the four lines that power the loader hydraulics, the standard up and down and curl the bucket. And then these two ports on the right hand side, one with a plug in it, one without, those are what's referred to as the power beyond. And this is the uh, place that the, uh, uh, the new uh, third function valve gets its hydraulics. And so I mentioned a challenge. As it turns out, the adapter that uh, you see here, one with the plug and one with the hole. Uh, we're taking out those plugs and we're putting an adapter in order to be able to connect 3 8 inch line hydraulics. And um, learning the hard way, having run around to every farm store in Northern Michigan, uh, trying to find a fitting that would work in there. I think I found out that uh, John Deere may have a proprietary thread or fitting design uh, in this control body. So I went to the local John Deere dealer uh, and uh, which local in Northern Michigan is uh, you know quite a ways away. And when I got there, found out that they didn't have any in stock. They checked their dealer network, found one in uh, nearby town, well not so nearby, hour, hour and a half away. Called them, as you can see, I need two here. They had one in stock, not two, one. Their sister store in a town that was even further away also had one in stock. But I decided not to go that route. Uh, I placed an order 
uh, through an online John Deere parts dealer, and hopefully it's going to be here Monday or Tuesday. So with that, I should be able to complete the installation and uh, finally get the grapple up and running. So if you're going to take on the similar project, just know that the fittings here that you're looking at, if it's a John Deere, very likely the first fitting coming out of the um, loader valve is likely proprietary. Um, at least that's what I found in my case. Now, there may be some of you out there that are far more experienced and you're going to laugh and say, oh, no, no, Keith, you could have easily done it with this. But uh, I tried uh, five or six different trips to the store, four or five different parts, and I could not get it to work. So finally gave in and went and uh, got the, uh, the John Deere version. So uh, like I often say, live and learn. And uh, perhaps I can save you a few handful of trips to the store and you can go directly to your John Deere dealer first. So I'm going to see if I can get my uh, somewhat overweight tush out of here uh, and get back to work. All right, got the camera set up. I'm going to get after working on that uh, new uh, control knob with the new pinch function. Uh, we're going to be hooking up the knob and uh, getting it connected to the fuse box and also to the control valve solenoid. And then if you listen carefully, well, you may not hear it because I'm going to move over to time lapse. But uh, as I'm preparing here, there is a male turkey uh, goblin off in the distance here. Uh, the rustling you hear down below is just a barn cat, but uh, off in the distance you can hear uh, you can hear the turkey. So I'm going to stop for a second and see if we can pick it up. That was my very lame attempt at a mouth call for a hen. All right, we'll worry about we'll worry about turkeys later. Let's get uh, let's get on with the work here. <laughs> 